Hello YouTube, tonight we are going to tame a dung beetle. Um, this is Ars Laman, by the way, and for this method we are going to need an Argentavis and a Sabertooth Tiger. I also do recommend that you bring enough food. In this example I use vegetable citronol. Also bring some uh, water on you and some... Yeah, I use torches that's just to get some heat and a weapon in case you get in trouble. Also, in your Argentavis, you should bring some extra armor sets. That way, yeah, you make sure, well, it's even better to put it in the tiger, because in the cave where we are going to find uh, the dung beetle, you will find creatures that will damage your, your armor quite fast. And also, the most important thing for dung beetles is that you bring dung with you. You are kind of forced to force feed him with it. Yeah, basically, you just need shit in in order to tame it. Okay, and now we go to the cave where you can actually find them. It's some flying through it, so I will skip it and I will get back to you once we are there. <laughs> at the cave but from here you still need to find it and I will try and make it a bit easier in order to spot it it is the cave that is really close to the volcano so just fly towards it and once there you see a small hill in front of it I'm flying rightly directed to it and yeah there's a tree on top but yeah that's not always there obviously someone can cut it what I do, in this server there is no cave flying allowed. So I just park my Argentavis as close as possible to the entrance. Then I jump onto my saber to tiger and see if the RG is parked safe. So it won't get killed once I'm aiming for it. So now I'm just parking it somewhere safe. Jump on the tiger. At this moment you don't see any creature around. Yeah, turtle bird, he won't do much. The basic things you need to look out for is, as example, an alpha creature or a Tyrannosaurus. He can kill your RG quite fast. Um, and we go inside the cave. As I mentioned before, I got some heat sources on me. That's mainly because it can be really cold inside of the cave. And you also see a little bit more. My advice is to simply not run in this cave, but if you are familiar in it and you know where you can drop off, then it's not a problem, of course. Um, in this video, I am doing it solo, so I need to be slightly careful because of that. And make sure that you use sound, so you actually hear when you get attacked. And this is basically the creature that damages your armor quite fast. So always be aware. Okay, he's down. It was just a level 10. And let's take a look at my armor. It's hallway. And as you see, you see it, that it's getting cold already. Even with a torch. So it's really necessary to bring one. Or what you can also do is level up your fortitude. Mine is 16. And I still need it, so you probably should be around 30. Always walk back a little bit. So you get attacked by the minimum amount of creatures at one time. And you simply have to kill them. Those are a son of a bitch. They climb and fly so high and they aim really to you and not to your creature itself. It seems, but you see some blood on the backside of the tiger. It might take a while in order to kill them all, but it's really necessary to do it. This is 
really easier if you are with a friend together. They can just simply use two tigers or even a wolf. People say that the wolf is stronger, but I'm not totally sure. And there are more. And always take good care of the health of your tiger. If it goes down too fast, always retreat. At this moment, the tiger is halfway, so I just retreat a little bit, force feed him so he get better. My tiger is, as you can see, 5k in health. That's really the recommended amount of health that you, that you should use. Okay, and I will skip a little bit, so yeah. I get back to you guys if the health is recovered fast enough. force feeding him I was under attack by another poison spitter and he damaged two of my armor pieces so just make sure that you replace the right one it's primitive chest piece and my helmet therefore it's really important that you bring some extra gear with you you can also bring fur armor but then you also need more than one of course um, I didn't totally recover the tiger but this, this is good enough and now I go further in the cave seems that I don't need fire I want to distract this flying bat he kind of disagrees with me I still see to damage him so it's good okay one down and from here you have to be really uh, you have to really pay some attention because the dung beetles can spawn here already. Also, if you see some loot bags, just grab it. Why not? I mean, you're there anyway. Okay, I do see one flying bat on that side. And there is nothing. And there we go. Okay, if you also have a loot crate, so you can grab it as well. With a little bit of luck, it's some decent items in it. So, why not? Before you do so, be slightly aware of your surroundings. In this example, I did saw those screeches already, so... I just take them down first. Ok, 
Okay, there was a big battle, <laughs> bit bigger than I was expecting, but it worked out. And now I just recover its HP again a little bit, but it should be fine. The, the most aggressive and dangerous creatures are already dead in this cave. So yeah, it should be good from him. To 3k health should be enough, and we are almost there. Um, also a good thing to know, the respawn time of the creatures is not that big in this cave. It started to respawn, if I remember correctly, uh, from the moment you leave the cave and stay gone for a few minutes. After that they will spawn again, but as long as you stay in the cave, it won't disappear. Okay, at this point it's just a primitive slingshot, so I just drop it, it's useless. What I do hope for is when I um, finally found a dung beetle that there will be a new drop with some more rewarding stuff in it. Oh, there is the dung beetle. It's a bit tricky to spot without light. What I do, I keep my distance. I just grab some light. Just to find out that I made a stupid mistake and the dung is in my RG and not in my tiger. So I go back all the way. Now I have to be slightly aware because I was out of outside the cave, so there is a chance that the respawn restored. And those creatures only appear at night. So you have to be really careful. <clears throat> Luckily enough he got stuck in a rock and I can simply eat it. He cannot hit me right now and I can kill it easily. But I must say this is the first time that I ever saw those guys. So at first I was a bit panicked because of it, because I had never seen it before. You know, hopefully the dung is still there. Yep, it is good. As I mentioned earlier, take a distance from it. Just crawl, put the dung in your last slot. Um, I do advise to use largest dung only because you'll eat more from it. Just crawl to him, be gentle, and press the E button. Also, good thing to know, it doesn't really matter what level he is. So, I prefer low level ones. So that's mainly because they need less dung in order to get tamed. But as you see, it's really fast anyway. Once again, just grab some distance, wait a little bit, give it some time to finish the previous food that you gave to him, and just check it every now and then. And always play with your sound on, guys. So if you get attacked or your tiger gets attacked, you notice it by the sound. Wait until it's hungry again. Blech.
maybe some more distance. Always make sure that you kill everything around this guy before you start even taming it. And it's done. Now you need to bring it back to the base. But the task of taming is done, but I'll fly it back to the base, show you guys what the use of it is. And once I'm back at the base, I get back to you guys. back to our base let's park the tiger doesn't really matter where I'm really happy with the dung beetle and I will show you guys what it does and how it works okay I just throw it inside here you check his inventory you put this shit in it level him up in wave so you can put more shit in him eventually what you have to do is put him in enable wandering and then pre pre press unfollow. In one time um, he transfers one of this guy and he gives back three fertilizers. The fertilizers is what you mainly use for your for your bins, the free uh, the, the crafting plots so you can make vegetables like I have already done like long grass, separate, etc. And yeah, that that's main, mainly it guys. Um, yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to uh, press the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want. I'll try and upload more kinds of stuff like this. I basically start off with dung beetle because I want to show you guys how to tame those Achetina seems truly, but for that I really think you should need a dung beetle first, then a greenhouse, and then veggie cakes, and I will show you guys that all later on. That was it. Once again, thanks for watching guys. Peace.